Hi, welcome to the Brains Report. I am James Brains, the host of the Brains Report, and today we're Brains Report reviewing the Kelphalon Premier Space Saving Stainless Steel 10 piece cookware set. Uh, I'm gonna get this going uh, just to show you how evenly it cooks. Oops, I should probably do the right burner. This is totally my kitchen. Um, I know how that stuff works. Let me make sure it's centered so we can see how evenly uh, that cooks. And I'll put a little light down here so you can see better. Uh, so, it's a 10 piece set, but really it's kind of a 6 piece set because there's 6 pots and pans and 4 lids. Uh, let's, let's go through uh, some of my favorites here. There is the six P. Oh, we got a couple lids here. We've got the six quart stock pot um, with lid. You'll notice uh, we don't do the best job cleaning, but this kind of stays a little, a little stained in a way. It's not a bad thing. Um, if you want to. Make sure your stainless steel stays like really good looking. You'll want to pick up some Barkeeper's Friend, and I'll I'll leave a link to that in the in the description below the this this video. But this is the six quart stock pot, which I use usually for simmering soups or chilies. Uh, I found it works really well for that. You can also use it for creating some chicken stock. Uh, it's not going to work for turkey because it's kind of small. And it also works well for boiling water when you're going to eat a ton of pasta. And I like to eat a ton of pasta. We've also got the 3.5 quart saucepan here. And this uh, is good for maybe simmering a pasta sauce or, or making a small amount of pasta. Uh, boiling water for that and uh, also works for you know, a lot of stuff. Simmering. A lot of simmering. We also have the 8 inch frying pan. And this, I believe it or not, was using this for to fry eggs. Uh, you need to put a lot of oil in stainless steel in order to get to fry eggs. Uh, otherwise it sticks and Pretty much if you want non-stick properties, you need to use a fair amount of oil. We also have the... Where is... Oh yeah, the 10-inch frying pan's uh, working right now. Uh, we've got a medium heat. We're just going to watch the flour brown and see how evenly that goes. Give you an idea of how evenly it heats. Uh, here we have the 2.5 quart... Notice that I can grab this lid without any sort of protection on my hands. Uh, it's kind of nice that the handles stay pretty cool except for these short ones. But we've got some pasta sauce simmering here. Notice there's no scorching or burning. I've had this simmering for over half an hour now and neglected it for a lot of that time. And yeah, no, no scorching or burning. It, that's what I like most about the, the stainless steel is that you can simmer stuff for a long time and not have to babysit it. It just kind of stays there and doesn't scorch or burn. And the last one is the three quart saucepan. And I don't use this one a lot. Um, not not particularly a huge fan. I would prefer a 12 inch frying pan. Oh, uh, let's take a look at the 10 inch frying pan, speaking of which. Uh, notice it's kind of even the, there are areas where there's more flour than, than others and that's where it's looking white, but otherwise it's it's pretty brown in the low low hanging areas and it's pretty much all over. Uh, so pretty even there. I'm going to turn this off because it's starting to smoke and you're not really supposed to just cook plain dry flour on the stove. It's not a thing. 
Um, so yeah, I, I would have preferred a 12 inch frying pan because that is incredibly useful for a variety of things. Uh, that's one thing that I'm sad this set doesn't include and you may want to pick up a non-stick one for your, your fried eggs and that sort of thing or maybe even cast iron uh, for steaks. Although, I also want to point out these do a great job of browning meats. Uh, they also produce a good fan if you want to make like a gravy or sauce with the, the brownness that's left over after you you brown a, a flame mignon or your Chateau Briand. Um, I also mentioned I would have liked to, uh, I, I didn't mention it yet, but I would like a larger stock pot. Uh, not many cookware sets come with uh, a huge stock pot. I think the biggest you're, you're likely to get is an 8 quart. And I like to have 12 quart or larger because I'm always boiling uh, turkey carcasses. Uh, it's just the kind of guy I am. I gotta mention what this is made out of. Uh, like I said, stainless steel, but it's tri-ply, which means it's got stainless steel on the inside, it's got a layer of stainless steel on the um, outside, and in between is a aluminum core. Uh, and this goes throughout. A lot of cookware sets will just have an aluminum core in the base. But that goes throughout the entire uh, body, the whole construction, and that makes for even heating and durability. The handles are also stainless steel. Uh, it's all uh, dishwasher safe. The only thing is uh, it can be hard to clean. Uh, especially we have people in the house who forget that they're cooking and you can't see it too well but this the saucepan's uh, kind of been through the ringer uh, it's got a little scorch burn light on the bottom and it looked much worse uh, mostly from cooking and forgetting that you're doing it uh, I live with people with ADHD which uh, they have so many benefits. There's so many benefits to having ADHD. I, I really appreciate how their minds work and, and have even gone so far as married someone with ADHD. Uh, but it doesn't really work well for cooking, I feel like. Uh, at least if you're going to be leaving the stove to go somewhere. <laughs> uh, as I mentioned, stuff can stick to the pieces unless you use a lot of oil. Um, this is, of course, isn't the case of liquids. Liquids work great. The all the pieces are uh, oven safe to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and that includes the lids. So I've used this as a Dutch oven in the past, and it worked great. Uh, I made a pot roast, and it turned out great. Just put it in there with some red wine, uh, make me feel so fine all the time, and yeah. Turned out perfect. Another thing I like, well, I love these handles on the, the lid so you can just grab it. But I like that there aren't any holes. No holes. So it can vent or not, depending on what you want. Um, a lot of cookware sets come with lids with like a little tiny hole for venting. And uh, if you're making rice, that's a real pain in the tuchus. And I think the last thing I want to mention is that it comes with a full lifetime warranty. So if you have trouble at any time, and uh, you, you can probably get a replacement or get something fixed. Uh, that is if you don't abuse your, your stuff. I don't think the warranty covers stuff like uh, leaving it on the stove for hours with nothing in it with the heat on high. Um, that is not covered, so you may not uh, get help with that, but a little barkeeper's friend and some patience, you, you can take care of it and get back to usable shape. Uh, would I recommend this? I would recommend this if you are looking for a cookware set that is going to last you for a long time, if you want to give stainless steel a whirl, um, or if you have experience with stainless steel. Anyway. Stay cooking.